The Whitefish Bulldogs volleyball team has been historically good with six state titles, and they're heading into this year's postseason in first place in their conference in pursuit of number seven. I feel very confident with our team. You know, we've had a lot of wins, but also some losses that we've been able to just like develop our skills based on like the win and wins and losses, um, just kind of working on those little details. With only one conference loss and three total in regular season play, the Bulldogs have high expectations heading into divisionals. We know what's expected out of us and we're not going to let the pressure get to us. We're going to like keep doing what we're doing and try to come up on top. The team held similar expectations last year, but ultimately fell short. But they're only using it as fuel for the fire. Last year we had, we also had that expectation of like we can be good and it didn't end up the way we wanted it to. So this year we really came in with that like burning desire to prove to, to everybody else that we can do it and to really have that confidence going in and being like we can do this we just have to believe in ourselves and believe in each other six state titles is a huge accomplishment for the school but it's been 17 years since the community celebrated a championship now their focus is on ending the drought that's been hanging around since 2006. we're definitely going to come out hard we're not gonna you know go out easy we've been really working together as a team and individually to try to get to that next step the bulldogs will look to keep winning when divisional start for them on november 2nd until then they have just one thing to say. Go, Go Dogs! <laughs> In Whitefish, Carter Culver, MTN Sports.